Hey guys, this is the Golden Long Sword, and today welcome back to Stoneshire. You probably saw my review. If you didn't, then you can check that out in the description below. And this game finally got an update. So, what is Stoneshire, you may ask? It's just a Minecraft ripoff. And I will show you. So let's go to slot 2 because I already have a slot 1. Let's do grassland and. Huh? Create a name for your game. Well, okay. So. The default is dwarf, so. I'll just go with that. Is dwarf the name you want? Yeah, that's the name of my whole new world. There seems to be some cloud textures. So, it's not just blue, it's... I doubt there's any day cycle, though. There could be. Maybe I'm wrong. But let's see what they added in the update. Hmm. Faster world giant... Uh... Faster world spawn. And... Ooh, I see water. Well, the frame rate. Oh my god, the frame rate is terrible. What the hell happened to this game? No wonder they added nothing in the game, or the frame rate would be like this. Okay, let's jump into the water. And it's similar to Minecraft. Uh, water doesn't look as good, though. Looks like something from the Nintendo 64. So let's get some wood. I'm pretty sure they added a few new stuff, like items as well. So I will show you that. I took a quick look at this before, so this isn't quite a first reaction. But I was only in the world for like three minutes. So, you have two hands in this game, just like Minecraft 1.9. I'm pretty sure Stoneshire actually did it first. This game was released in fall of 2014, and after two years, they decided to make an update. So, let's craft something instead of spinning around in circles. Let's craft a torch. Maybe. Oh no, we need planks first. Let's craft as much as we can. Uh, let's craft five torches. This is so stupid. Uh... Oh, I'm sorry, uh, there's nothing going on on the TV because all the crafting is done on the gamepad, so... Oh, I got 50 torches, wow. I really needed that. But here, as you can see, you can actually unlock, unlike Minecraft, you can actually walk around and the torch provides light. You could still place it. Jeez, the lag. Okay. It looks pretty cartoony, but I guess it's better. Let's get some more wood before we go down in the caves and see what's up in there. Uh, this is this is not fun, guys. Do not download this game. I made the mistake. In fact, they ended up dropping the price because it was so terrible. I got this game for like... I'm not even sure. Like... I wasted maybe 10 bucks around that. And now it's like 199 because... they decided it wasn't worth it. They thought the game would actually sell. But since there's Minecraft for the Wii U, then there's really no point in this game. It's just there. 
it's only there for people that don't want to pay the full price for Minecraft and just want this game as a replacement, but once they start playing this game, they'll they'll learn they're wrong, I guess. I'm not sure. But whatever you do, do not download this game. Okay, well, I'm rambling, so... Can I get the wood from the top? Is that wood? Hard to tell because it's so laggy. I guess they didn't really add anything because they knew the frame rate would be a problem because I guess they have some kind of developer uh, developing software that was from the 1960s. That makes no sense. I mean, 1990s. This looks like something that would be off the Nintendo 64. I mean... These aren't even HD graphics. Yeah, Minecraft has pretty cartoony graphics, but that's really intentional. In this game, I think I'm pretty sure they tried for a more realistic look because not everything is pixelated. And I should probably wrap this up soon because there's not much to see. When I looked in the crafting menu, I didn't really see anything new for the inventory. Except for the doors, the water bottle, torches. I'm serious. But then again, I could be wrong. There could be more in this game. I need to craft a stone pickaxe. And I'm pretty sure you can't die in this game still, and items still have no durability, which sucks. Jeez, the problem, the main problem before was that this game is, was boring, and that's still the main problem, but the biggest problem now is the frame rate. Jeez. This game solved only a few problems, but not entirely. They they tried to help with the boredom, and they failed by making the game even crappier somehow. So let's go down. Is there anything positive I should say about this? I do like the torches. The doors are probably really good, but I'm, I might not waste my time with it. Could I craft a door? Right now? Just here in the cave? Yeah, let's craft one door. Alright. Yeah. Here's my house. Where's my where's my pickaxe? Okay. This is my hobbit hole. This is where I live as a dwarf. Dwarf hole. You know. Will this door close? Um, do I need a, an empty hand to close this door? Because that kind of sucks. Can't do it with the pickaxe. But I could chop it. Uh, where did it go? No, seriously, where'd my door go? I paid... I paid good wood for it. it. It's gone. The door disappears when you break it. Let's keep digging. Oh, I found a cave, I guess. Oh, this is almost scary. But, of course, there's no health in this game, so... You shouldn't worry. Oh, it's so beautiful, actually. Like Minecraft, if there's caves, then there's darkness. That's probably one of the reasons why the frame rate dropped. It's still no excuse to make a crap game, though. Like this. I mean, 
this is just boring. Minecraft Pocket Edition is a is a huge step from this. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying that it's it's better. Yep, Stoneshire. Let's see. Now with slightly more stuff and lower frame rate. Thanks for watching, and subscribe. Goodbye.